You're watching the Sunbelt Baseball Championships as we welcome you to Springbrook Stadium on the campus of Coastal Carolina University in Conway, South Carolina for our first game in this single elimination round as the number 10 seed ULM Warhawks take on the number 7 seed South Alabama Jaguars. Beasley at 337. Lines this one towards the gap. It's going to get down and roll. Tinglestad touches third. He will score without a throw. And Beasley caught in a rundown gets tagged out there as Bell reaches third base. And the second out comes at second base. But a 1-0 lead for ULM. First pitch to him. Knocked down by the first baseman, Davis Wells. And he throws to the plate. Not in time. And a run scores. Here's the 0-1 to Della Torre. Towards the hole, knocked down, the shortstop throws. Wild to first base, ball goes to the dugout and coming home to score. The Jaguars' first run of the ball game is Dakota Daly as Della Torre reaches second base. We wonder how that clubhouse is with all these new players coming in from different teams across the country, different philosophies, but he said it has not been a problem for this team. That ball is socked into the corner. Let's watch Jordan. Let's see how far he gets. He's going to get to third base. He's going to get the wave sign. Throw comes into second. Now to the plate, and Jordan is going to be safe. Ball hit down the line. That's a fair ball. Montiel is going to come around third. He's going to score. Wilson's going to pull in at third, and it's now 3-2 as Sandal has an RBI double. Here's the 2-1 from Martin. That ball is hit to center field for a base hit, and we are tied. Sandal will be stopped, and now it's bobbled in center field, and Sandal will score, and the Jaguars have taken a 4-3 lead. With the change on the pitching mound. But Nick Lewis has been a much hotter hitter than Bennett Shell lately. Base hit up the middle. That'll play the fifth run of the ball game for the Jaguars as Davis scores easily. RBI single for Lewis. And now a four-run inning for South Alabama. 2-0, back up the middle, base hit. Here comes Daly. He will score without a throw, and it is now 6-3, a five-run bottom of the fifth for the Jaguars as Powers delivers the RBI single. We talked about parity. And Barrett hits that to center field. That's a base hit. One run in, Kaufman scores, and so will Prososki. And it's now 6-5. to five. A two-run base hit by Barrett. It's his second hit of the game, the number nine hitter in the order, coming up big for the Warhawks. I always said his ability to control the bat at the number nine spot there, kind of a second leadoff guy. Coach Frederico told us that same thing about him. It's his ability to knock guys in and kind of turn the lineup over and not only turn the lineup over to the leadoff hitter, but also pick up a couple key runs right there. And here is Chad Bell, the home run leader in the conference with 18 on the season. Ball gets away from Powers. Racing home is Barrett, and we're tied at six. Infield in, as hard as you hit the ball, you want to see these guys in. Chopper gets over the head of Daly into right field. Another run in, and the Warhawks take a 7-6 lead on the Chopper infield single by Chad Bell. Goes down and gets that, socks it to center field. Sandal will score easily without a throw. He was practically on the plate by the time that ball rolled into the glove of Barrett, and it's 9-7. to seven. Doesn't surprise me ULM sent him on that. Ball is hit to right field. That's going to be a two-run base hit by Worm. Here comes the throw to the plate, sliding safe. It was cut off, and two more runs across for ULM as Logan Worm gets his first hit of the day, and it's a big one here in the top of the eighth. Because you're going to need somebody that hasn't produced this year to have some type of success. Off the hands into center field for a base hit. Here comes the runner around third. Throw to the plate. It's going to be cut off. Another run in as Worm slides across the plate. It is 12-7. to seven. Resiliency. Um, you know, he gave up the five spot and then he kind of bounced back and um, put up a big inning right there. So uh, proud of our guys just with the effort that they put. Um, didn't panic and all that kind of thing, especially after giving up the five runs. And then uh, the three runs later on in the seventh inning were huge as well. What did it mean to see Joey, to see Braden, a number, Andrew in particular, 
play the way that they did today? Yeah, we had a bunch of two out hits that I was proud of. Logan Worm had a huge bunt, sack bunt that was was big, and then gets a two out hit later on in the game as well. So uh, some of those little things, it you know wasn't any really big hits. It was just some small manufactured stuff, and um, you know we were able to execute. We were talking just right before they came to us. This is your first time in the Sunbelt Conference Tournament as head coach for ULM. So this is your first victory. I want you to take a moment, kind of think about what that means not only for you, but the strides that this program has taken to get to this moment. Yeah, it's a tremendous hard effort by, you know, our entire administration, um, our coaching staff. I think, you know, we work extremely hard. Uh, but everybody works hard, and um, just proud of you know the effort that our guys put together. And uh, this group, you got 27 new players that came in from 13 different states. So it's been a it's been a whirlwind. But at the same time, now we're in the in the in the big tournament, what we call now um, having a chance to play tomorrow.